Riding head machines can be quite complex, but Alec here is going to give us a bit of an education on this machine. This model is the SR20R4. This is a very popular machine and has been over the years, hasn't it, Alec? It has for us, to be fair, yeah. We've uh, launched this several years ago and it's remained popular with our customer base. So why is that? You've got nine axes on this machine. As well as the nine axes, I think it's a, it's a speed thing with this particular machine. So uh, the tools are in very close proximity to the to the bar stock on head one, which reduces the idle time. It means that our cycle times off this particular model are very short and sweet. Is it all about location of your tools then? As I said, they're very close to the, the bar stock, which means chip to chip time is vastly reduced, which obviously affects your cycle time. And what about all of the other tools as well? Because that's on the main platen on one side. Exactly. But obviously for the shortest cycle time, you're really looking to overlap as many operations as you can between head one and head two processing. So the R4 has got eight stations on the back, which means we can put a lot of uh, machining processes onto the back spindle if at all possible, which again reduces the overall cycle time. Why have you got nine axes? It just allows you to make more complex components, really. It's as simple as that. So let's think of the engineer now. This can be quite overwhelming or intimidating when you're looking at the setup and being able to program this. What is it that you do to help the machinist and the engineer? Again, it's, it's a, it's a two-path machine. Um, so again, you've got two CNC programming programmers running simultaneously, but obviously any customer that comes to us, all the training's provided. We've got software tools that can help them out, such as NC Assist. So it really isn't that daunting these days to jump from a traditional, you know, CNC lathe to a high speed CNC slider. And, you know, if you compare this to a twin spindle, for example, that, that process of the component going over from one spindle to the second, how, how are you kind of overcoming with setups? Well, I think on your traditional twin spindle machine, transferring the component from head one to the head two chuck can be a little bit daunting on sliders all of that process is built in automatically into our system so we can do that at really high speed and it's it's part of the standard system really okay so alec are you telling me it's easy to program one of these if i can do it anybody can do it <laughs> brilliant what else is the art for the setup because the ultimate thing is the unmanned run really so what is it that you're doing and that's set within the machine that helps with that goal of and then run. Okay, so it's a combination of several different things. We've got the hardware, we've got the software. So in terms of the hardware, obviously you've got the bar feeder with the big magazine rack, so we can put a lot of bar stock into the machine. You've got the fire suppression, so it's protected because obviously 90%, 95% of sliding there is running neat oil. In terms of the software, you've got tool life management, you've got tool load management, you've got Step Cycle Pro, We've got sensors on head one to detect if the part off has broken. And we've got sensors on head two to make sure the part is ejected safely. So there's a lot of inbuilt security, if you like, for those uh, extended unattended runs. And of course, you're using one of the most popular controls. For sure, it's still Fanuc CNC, some drives Fanuc motors. So it's, it's bulletproof reliable. It's easy to learn, it's easy to teach. The industry is really used to finding systems, so yeah, yeah, finding for us. So Alec, what do you personally love about this machine? I think with the R4, like I said, it's a really high speed machine, but obviously it's got star motion control as well, which means you can take even more cycle time out of that component, which is obviously everything to um, turn past manufacturers. <laughs> <laughs>